Okay. Take seven, because I like to stutter a lot. But hey, welcome back. So this is gonna be called part 2.5. Um, reason being is there's not a whole lot of progress, but I do want to show you kind of what I've been up to this past weekend. So, among other things, uh, sanding. Lots and lots of sanding. But I decided to use paper instead of the, uh, the mesh, and I'm glad I did because this process was just perfect. Everything is nice and smooth. I got to go back one more time and just, you know, take care of a few little things here and there. You know a little bit more uh, joint compound but it it turned out really well so yeah I took out the mesh uh, tape on all these areas as you can see patched up the screw holes and I'm almost done with this so the next time I make a video this will be sanded and painted I'm not gonna put you through that again um, let's see there was a couple other things oh I did get the Raspberry Pi in so I have it loaded with VLC player and there's a video that's on YouTube called Star Wars Scenes, and what the person's done is taken all the space scenes, minus the actors and the dialogue, and went pretty much from the Phantom Menace all the way to The Force Awakens, and this is a result of that. So I found that in that video, at the 12, 10, 12 minutes and 10 second mark, is the part, the start of what I want to loop over and over on this screen, and I think it ends at, 12 minutes and 35 seconds. So, if you can imagine with me, we've seen this before, but I've cut it down to match the screen. Let me just get it, get it there. And basically, ah, this is what the plan is. Let's see, do I have it lined up? Yeah, like that. So, all of this, just so I could do this. Well, not stand here and do this, but you get the idea. So yeah, that's the idea. I'll ha this will be one of the scenes that I loop over and over again. So I'm going to stop that because it's about to end. So let me go ahead and pause that. That's one thing. Sanding was the other. Ah, so I decided to get a different uh, jigsaw because the other one did not do bevel cuts. And I had this idea. If I did a bevel cut, yet I held on to the saw and just went around the corner. I could make some really cool sci-fi edges, so nice beveled rounded edges. And the other bonus of that is the inside edge. So I'm going to do this treatment on this thing here, and that's, that should look a lot better. So imagine that type of thing on there. That's going to look a lot better. So yeah, just uh, set your jigsaw at 70, or 75, at 45 degree angles. Um, make sure that you make your lines inside because your cut's gonna, you know, obviously you can see where the cut starts. So make sure you make your lines on the inside, follow the line all the way through, and then go back through with and uh, sand it or use a sander and sand it down and perfect. This is, this is perfect. Cause that would make some really cool panels, right? So um, this is MDF, in case you couldn't tell. My preferred material. Lastly, uh, I sold my CNC. It was a Shapoko XXL, so it was, it was a big CNC, and the two-car garage just really couldn't house that. So I got a smaller one on the way, should be shipping on July 1st, what's that, Wednesday? Um, and it's from Millwright, it is called the Mega Pro V. So looking forward to that. Hopefully it arrives by the weekend so I can go ahead and get started. Um, I could do this manually if I didn't have a CNC, just like I did for the columns, but that would involve me using a drill, a whole bit, making my two cuts, using a ruler, making a line through those two cuts, taking my jigsaw and cutting the line out, and then I finally have my shape. But I don't want to do that times, what, 100? 40 on one side, 40 on another, and 20 up top. Um, and the reason is so many uh, is because I only have four inches to work with here. So it's a pretty small hole and I wanna start from right here and go all the way almost to the bottom on both sides and then start pretty much right here and go across to right here. And I don't wanna, <laughs> I honestly don't feel like making all those cuts. So we'll let the CNC do that. So it might be a slight while before I put another video up unless I do another 
part. I don't know. Or something comes up that I just have to tell you guys about, like this I was pretty excited about. It's the little things. So, if you like what you've seen, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when part two point whatever or three comes out and further videos. And of course, thanks for watching. Hey, I don't have to walk around to stop the camera. I can do it right here.